The end of all things has come to a close. An Invincible story ended on an amazing note with issue 144. However, there's a lot of story in the Invincible universe that you may not know about, with multiple characters leaping into their own series along with some Mark Grayson cameos. Before we get into it, if you're not caught up on Invincible, spoilers lie ahead. Here are the other series within the Invincible world that tie back to the best superhero comic in the universe. The first series to kick off the Invincible universe was Tech Jacket. Mark Grayson's Invincible actually first appears in Tech Jacket's first issue in November of 2002, which kicked off a six-page preview of the first issue of Invincible. Tech Jacket centers around Zach Thompson, a high school kid who is equipped with the most powerful weapon in the universe after meeting a dying race of aliens called the Galdarians. So, Mark Grayson wasn't the first high schooler to gain powers in Kirkman's Invincible universe. At first, Tech Jacket was loosely built into the same world. However, it tied back into Invincible during issue number 27, and the character has been seen in the background of various battles throughout the series. The next book to connect back to the Graysons was Capes. A three-issue miniseries started in September of 2003. The quote, find something you enjoy doing and then figure out a way to make money doing it is exactly what protagonist Bruce Bolt takes to heart when he wakes up with amazing and fantastic powers far beyond that of a mere mortal. The characters from Capes have also been seen supporting large superhero battles Invincible participates in, and the series ran as a backup in the Invincible books starting with issue number 27. Britt is the next character to find his own path from the Mother series. After starring in three one-shots, Britt in July 2003, Britt Cold Death in December 2003, and Britt Red, White, Black, and Blue in August 2004. Britt was launched as an ongoing full-color series and was overseen and edited by Kirkman. The 12-issue series expanded Britt's universe by introducing his brother and sister and also revealed the origin of his powers. However, this would not be the last we'd see of Britt. More on this in a minute. But first, The Astounding Wolfman launched from Image Comics on May 5th, 2007. It ran until its 25th issue in 2010. The series was created and written by Robert Kirkman with art by Jason Howard. Similar to Tech Jacket, Gary Hampton, aka Wolfman, has been seen in the background of many battles in Invincible, but was most notably a part of Invincible Universe number 8 and 9, a two-part storyline. Between 2007 and 2008, the miniseries on Mark Grayson's future wife dropped on the market, titled Invincible Presents Adam Eve. The two-issue run follows Adam Eve's origin story and the meaning behind her restrictions on her powers. A few years later in 2009, we got the three-issue run of Invincible Presents Adam Eve and Rex Splode. This miniseries picked up right where Adam Eve's special left off. It dives into her first meeting with Rex Splode, her first love, their stunning secrets, and how Rex was shaped into the man that so valiantly sacrificed himself in the Invincible War. After these two minis in 2010, Britt returned to the Invincible Universe. He was announced as the first member of the newly reformed Guardians of the Globe, which would star in a six-issue miniseries named Guarding the Globe. This series would also include heroes Outrun, Kaboomerang, Yeti, Bulletproof, and a slew of other characters that would be introduced throughout the series. Science Dog came next, jumping onto the scene in late 2011 with a two-issue run. Collecting the backup story from Invincible number 75, as well as the conclusion of the story, Science Dog follows our friend who has a human body covered in fur, with high human intellect and a terrier's face. He must figure out how to undo the damage that occurs after an unexpected transportation to an alien spacecraft during a battle against his nemesis. The final extended series came in Invincible Universe, which hit in April of 2013 and follows suit after issue 100 of the Mother series. The 12 issue run tells the aftermath of the death of everyone, Dinosaurus left his mark on the world. Invincible, the Guardians of the Globe, Tech Jacket, the Astounding Wolfman, and many other fellow heroes are tasked with trying to contain the damage that has been done. And that rounds out the series that branch off of Invincible. Mark Grayson does make a number of additional cameos throughout other books, including the Savage Dragon, Super Patriot, Noble Causes, and even a Marvel team up with Spider-Man from 2005. Similarly, Invincible number 48 features cameo appearances from several Savage Dragon characters, and Invincible number 60 is a done-in-one crossover event with characters such as Spawn and Witchblade making appearances. And if you want to learn more about Mark Grayson's friends and their personal stories, go to skybound.com to pick up our newly formed Invincible Starter Bundle. Like this video, let us know in the comments below which Invincible Universe character is your favorite and if there's one you'd like to see a miniseries on, like Battle Beast and his daughter maybe. As always, subscribe to Skybound for more content on the best superhero comic in the universe. Thanks for tuning in, folks.